Basic Eye Anatomy, now featuring less anatomy for psychologists. The eye receives the waves and photons of light and changes or transduces it into sensory signals the brain can process. Like your car changes gasoline into motion, except using entirely different processes and mechanisms. Signals from the eye exit through axons in the optic nerve. You may have heard of the blind spot. Because the axons leave here, there are no receptors to process light. The cornea is a transparent layer in front of the eye through which light enters. The lens is a jelly-like blob flexed and contracted by muscles to focus light on the back of the eye. The iris helps to regulate how much light enters the eye. Let's take a look at the arrangement of the iris, pupil, and lens. The iris forms a hill sort of like a very short volcano around the pupil. The pupil is depicted in black. The iris is what lends our eyes their color. The cornea encloses the iris and pupil under a dome of safety. The cushion between the cornea and these structures is called the anterior chamber. It's like Superman's fortress of solitude, except it's filled with a thick fluid instead of ice. Superman never visits, and there definitely isn't a bed. In retrospect, it's not at all like the Fortress of Solitude. The lens sits directly behind the iris and pupil. It's shaped sort of like a drop of water. The retina is where all the action is at, psychology-wise. It is a light-sensitive membrane that lines the inside of the back of the eyeball. It is filled with all the photoreceptors. These are neurons that transduce light to sensory signals, as well as neurons that do some initial processing of those signals. They send their information through axons leading out the optic nerve to the brain. The fovea is a tiny pit located in the retina that provides the clearest vision of all. The lens focuses the center of our visual space onto the fovea. This might seem a little counterintuitive. Light from the bottom of the visual field, or the area below the point on which we're focusing, ends up at the top of the retina. Well, light at the top of the visual field ends up at the bottom of the retina. This is because the lens inverts lights. Thusly, objects on the retina are inverted from their position in the real world. It's an upside down world in the retina. What kind of receptors are embedded at the back of the retina, you ask? Well, let me tell you. There are three layers of receptors. The first are ganglion cells. They collect information and send it to the brain through the optic nerve. Right next door live the bipolar cells, which collect information from the photoreceptors and send it on to the ganglia. Next up, we have the photoreceptors themselves. They come in two varieties. Rods are basically rod-shaped, and they respond in low-light conditions and see in black and white. Cones come in a couple of different varieties because they're color vision, and so they come in the colors that they respond to. They're also responsible for all of our high visual acuity vision. You can't get any more basic than that. This is the end of the eye.